Hi, I'm Malin, and today I wanted to talk about the Wim Hof Method and kind of how it's effect affected me. So, I found Wim Hof maybe two years ago. I read his book and I kind of started doing the breathing technique that he um, teaches. I just kind of followed it through on the app and on his YouTube videos. And I did it pretty consistently for a couple months. And I had a lot of problems with asthma. You know, I played a lot of football, so I had to take um, asthma, which is like a medication to kind of help your lungs kind of expand. And, you know, asthma kind of affected my football a bit because I was, wasn't able to always run as much as I liked because my breath would run out and I'd struggle to breathe. And asthma was kind of a problem that kind of was always kind of underlying with my fitness and kind of my health. And even one year, I remember getting a really bad asthma attack. It was Christmas, it was a Christmas day as well. And I reacted strongly to something like a grass or some dairy or something. And I had a really bad asthma attack and I had no asthma. And I remember not being able to sleep and breathing very, very shallowly and like, never feeling like I was getting enough oxygen. It's kind of like you're feeling strangled, but you can still just barely breathe enough that you feel okay, but you kind of panic. And that panic makes it harder to breathe. And it's not like a great feeling. So I kind of started this Wim Hof because he said that you could beat the asthma and I also wanted the kind of health benefits of it, you know. Um, I just get interested by these things and kind of go into them. And after I did it for a couple months, I noticed that I didn't need to take my asthma anymore and that I wasn't getting asthma at all. And even though I did it only consistently for maybe two months and kind of on and off for the rest of that year, I haven't had asthma or any asthma related things for two years. And last year I didn't even practice the Wim Hof method and I've only recently just been getting back into it but it's kind of had a lasting effect and that's like that's kind of crazy to me because you know you think you might have to build it up but it's like my body built up that tolerance with the Wim Hof method whatever it was whether it was like the strength of my lungs and my diaphragm or um, just dealing with less oxygen and it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, these things, just something simple like breathing rather than taking a medication, you know, could actually help and change me. And also part of the Wim Hof Method, I've taken cold showers. And I think that's also another important thing because it's, it's taught me that um, some things that are hard to do make you feel better afterwards, you know, like cold showers I really suck to do and you have to kind of just step in and just take the plunge you know into it and these things kind of suck you know whether we're scared of something um those sorts of things but like the payoff of that fear or, or getting over that overcoming that obstacle is like really satisfying and it's kind of taught me to do things that I've liked and that I've wanted to do even though they kind of feel uncomfortable because <clears throat> that's the most important thing doing what kind of you like and kind of you know finding out what works for you so that's how kind of the Wim Hof has kind of impacted me and I kind of want to I've been getting back into it the past week and I, I'm kind of looking forward to see what the results could be and sharing them along the way Thank you.